Seven signs you have defeated the narcissist. The narcissist abandoned who they really are a long time ago. They believed that who they were wasn't good enough. So they created a false self. They created this ideal image which is meant to be perfect. It's meant to be better than everyone. It's always self-absorbed. Because the false self isn't real. It is dependent on other people's validation. They don't have the capacity to care about anyone else. They have nothing to give. They're just trying to get as much as they can for themselves. You have to treat them a certain way for their false self to continue its existence. You have to keep propping it up. Which is why it will seem like they are so dependent on you. They always need your attention and admiration. They always need your validation. They always need your emotional support. Because that keeps the false character alive. If they can get you to believe that it's real. It makes it more believable for them. But of course, it isn't real. It is a false character. When you refuse to prop up this false character, it will fall apart. It has no foundation or structure. It's built on lies. It was built on the intention of manipulating people so that they could get what they want. Which is why when they don't get what they want, when you don't attend to them or admire them, it destroys the illusion. It defeats the false character. And when that happens, you will see another side of them. A side of them that is very dangerous and likely to cause problems for you. And when you see this, you will know that you have defeated them. One, they can't get their way. You have defeated the narcissist when they can't get their way. When they can't do what they want. They will try to deceive you by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. They will do anything to manipulate and control you get you to do what they want but if you say no if you refuse to do it it destroys their false self because the false self is dependent on people doing whatever they need them to do in their minds, when you say no, 
it means they're not deserving or they're not good enough. So it destroys their false self and makes them very angry. They will act in an offensive and bad-mannered way. Two. When they're not the center of attention. The narcissist always has to be the center of attention. They expect the world to revolve around them. They expect everything to be about them. And they believe that no one else should be admired or praised except them. But if you refuse to treat them as a center of attention, if you refuse to cater to their every demand, it will destroy their false self. Free criticism the narcissist cannot deal with criticism they expect everyone to see them as being perfect as being the ideal standard for what everyone else should be trying to attain when you express disapproval of their faults and mistakes it defeats the false self they cannot deal with criticism because they have an inflated ego They have an unrealistic standard and expectation of themselves. And they would rather live in this fantasy than to accept reality. Whatever allows them to feel better about themselves and to get them the things they need. But when you criticize them, it will cause a narcissistic injury which will be followed by narcissistic rage. Four. When they're caught doing something wrong, when they're caught going against social norms, when they're caught breaking the rules or disregarding someone's boundaries. Narcissists are pathological liars. They will do whatever it takes to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. But when they're caught in the act, they will behave in an offensive and indecent way. They may become extremely annoying and insulting. They may become violent and unrestrained. At that point, they will have no regard for morality. Five. When you try to hold them accountable for their actions. An easy way to defeat the narcissist is to try to make them take responsibility for their actions. They don't believe that they're ever wrong. They think that everything they do is right. Everything they do is justified. They think there's a reasonable excuse for why they're doing it. So you have no right to question or confront them. But if you force them to take responsibility for their actions, you have defeated the narcissist. Six. When they're not granted privileges or special treatment, the narcissist has a strong sense of entitlement. They believe they are inherently deserving of privileges and, spe and special treatment. Mm -hmm. 
They believe they should have whatever they want, whenever they want it. And no one has the right to deny them. But if you do say no to the narcissist, they will become very angry. They will behave in an unacceptable way. They will insult you and put you down. They will say you never do anything for them. They will say that you're selfish. Because the survival of their false self is dependent on you doing whatever they want. You have to let them get their way for them to feel like there's something significant or important. Seven, if you don't agree with their opinions or ideas, the narcissist's false self depends on validation. It depends on people agreeing with them. If you don't agree with their opinions or ideas, they will feel like their reality is under attack. They will become anxious to prove their point to you. They will try to get you to see things their way. But if you continue to disagree with them, they will feel invalidated and the illusion will fall apart. They may become angry Or they may give you the silent treatment. When the narcissist begins to act in a manner that deviates from what is normal or usual. It's because they've suffered a blow to their inflated, inflated egos. And that is when you know you have defeated them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at coach.narcsurvivor at Dakota UK thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon